good afternoon, good evening. Yes, yes, people, we are back again. That's it, unscripted, we're here. Uh, not going to be reviewing today, it's going to be conversation. Conversation, it's been a long time since we had a conversation. Yeah, it has, it has, it has, it has. Um, and we're going to have many more different types of conversations with different types of people coming imminently. So stay tuned. Imminently, imminently, imminently. <laughs> but what's, what's happening lately? You know, As always, there's through. always a madness happening on social media. There's There's been a lot since the last time that we've kind of had a conversation. Mm. We had the London mayor elections. We had a few different elections. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you you voted for. Do you know what? Actually, no, wait. I let voted me for an independent party. Okay, interesting. Brian Rose. I voted for Brian Rose. Okay, Rose, okay. Rose. Interested, yeah. interested. Yes. I'm not going to say who I voted for. <laughs> but I, I, I voted for an independent party. I voted for an independent party okay, as okay, well. Okay, 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 cool. But yeah, actually, talking about that, yeah, I wanted to actually speak on something like that because... Um, yeah, something just came into mind. I was watching, um, what's the name of this Tory guy as well? Oh, um, the name just Sean left Bailey. Right. Sean Bailey, yeah. I was watching his interview with ZZ Mills. And he brought up a very interesting point as well, a very, very interesting point in that black people in this country, or especially in London, tend to only vote, vote for Labour. Regardless of what their policies are or anything, you're it's, kind of scrutinised if you vote for anything else. I had a conversation with someone recently about it because we've been, since even last year, we've been talking about the, the elections and whatnot leading yeah. up to it. Pro, I, the main reason I believe that's the case is because during Labour's time, mm. they did more for the minority. So it even, seems. Yeah, they did. Think about it. NHS and all the and like the the youth. I'm not saying they did they were revolutionary, but like you know youth clubs like community wise they invested. Even though the government spent a bit, but, but is they that invested. factual or is that stuff? No, that's factual. To no, that's no, that's factual. Because he brought up some stats. Because and conservatives stuff like that. when they came in, they cut bare stuff. Yeah, they cut bare stuff. So and what they, he the was minorities. saying? What he was saying? He was so saying that understand. they had to do that because of the position that the Labour government left the economy in. So before the, like, kind of, the the country was handing over to, like, the Labour or yeah. Labour in power, okay. whatever, the Tories actually did bits for the for the economy. There's different ways that they've done it, privatising all these things, but they put the, they put the economy in a good position where there was a lot of money to be spent. That's the early like 90s that. we're talking early about. Early 90s, early 90s. Again, I don't, I wasn't around for it's that, but I do, I do know that they did, like, they did do bits in that sense, because I know Margaret Thatcher was privatising bare companies and bare businesses were starting to run and all that kind of stuff. But... Apparently, apparently, the Labour came, them man came through and just blew the budget. Okay. And now, now, that's why now you're just hearing austerity. We don't, we can't afford this. We can't do that. But again, you, that's, that's a conversation <laughs> for another that's time. That's a conversation for another time. Yeah, I just wanted to touch with that, but that's a conversation for another time. And I've actually got someone yeah. in mind that. I but feel even the austerity that. that they they're doing yeah. is not effective or. More likely, the austerity of cutting all this stuff has not made... The austerity is supposed to curb in it, like mm. re gradually reduce, reduce. But as of this moment, we're one trillion pounds in debt. And even before the pandemic, it was still very high. Yeah. So even the cuts they're making, at so, in some way, it should be reinvested. We don't know where Boris Johnson, David Cameron and Theresa May put mm. this money. I don't know where. Mm. I don't know, but we do know that the conservatives are more in favour of the rich people. And when they're in power, the That's the another gap, thing that he said the that GDP as well. GDP gap thing. That's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing. And this is not me saying I'm a conservative okay. or anything. Okay. I'm just okay. repeating, just yeah. rehearing what he was saying. Yeah. So he was saying as well, yeah, that people like to think that the conservative are like for the rich or more affluent people and stuff like that. And he was basically saying that is not the case. Because even when you deep the name conservative, that goes against the idea of what people think we don't care it about is. Name. No, no, no. He was just no, 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 no. But he was just saying that. So in terms of their policies and stuff like that. So what he was saying as London Mayor, what he was trying to do is get people to actually be homeowners, while Labour is trying to get people to rent council and not have any ownership of that. So you can be living in a council flat or whatever, and yeah, you're paying. 
but when it's time for you to move out, you move out. You don't own anything. Mm, 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 but the idea of what conservative or what he's trying to do is get people to actually be homeowners. So even if it's a council um, estate or flat, whatever, you still have a stake in that. So if it comes to it, you can still sell and get um, some kind of um, money for it. For it. So and you meant it would be good to again. This is a conversation for Definitely, another day. 100%. This is a conversation for another day. 100%, 100%. But for me, I did agree with the point that I feel like people just feel like they just have to vote for Labour. Not all Labour's policies are good. I agree. Not, all, well. not all. Not all of them not are all. good. A lot not of them all, are. Not all. For me, yeah. Listen, Sadiq Khan yeah has done a madness because I cannot get <laughs> anywhere in London yeah, without experiencing traffic he has. because they've blocked and literally get every single side road. I'll show you later. They've now get put up what do you call it? Eulers everywhere, so you can't even. It's expensive. They wanted to introduce like a um, a day rate pay as you go thing. So if you're driving around, you'll have to be paying to drive about. Drivers, Pete, listen. Listen, I'm supposed to have my lesson <laughs> next month. <laughs> but bro, I'm not in any rush. There's man. no test of I'm not even deferring. But I'm yeah. not even deferring, bro. <laughs> Enough of the politics because we could go on all <laughs> forever. But again, that that whole conversation is a conversation I want to have, and I've got some people I'm mad. Yeah, some definitely. people that are very, also. very into uh, that kind of stuff. Hundred and ten percent, definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, but you were also you mentioned earlier on about. Um, there was some female influencer. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Now, <laughs> social media never, it never, like, it never fails to amaze me, yeah, because I could go on this page and, do you know what, I've even done something. I don't go on social media before 11 a.m. anymore because I can't start my day. Yesterday, I even accidentally <laughs> just think, I don't know why, I accidentally just went on thing Insta, I think I was on my way somewhere. Yeah. And, what I saw, I was just like, oh my days, why am I seeing this this early in the morning? It messed up my morning. I'll show it to you as well later, but it messed up my morning. But anyway, getting to what I was actually talking about. So this week has actually been buzzing on social media because a certain influencer, what? her name is Kenza, Six Kenza, influencer, Instagram model, wherever Kenza you want to go. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, Six yeah. Six Kenza. She came out, I said some very, very, um, I don't know what to call it. I'm not going to say a wild statement. Don't oh, make it my I actually, my one of my boys, yeah, actually, she does fashion, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, like fashion. One of my boys, kind of, stuff, yeah. kind of what, use her for a shoot? No, he, he, well, I don't know, he, he does like, uh, he's trying to be a football agent, isn't it? Okay. But I believe he's he does some creative work at the same time. Okay. And he was with her. Okay. TV, so he knows her. I know someone. That okay. Knows her, so. Interesting. It's very interesting. Interesting. So she came out and said, she tweeted actually, stop asking women that you literally picked what they bring to the table. And <laughs> that's where went wild. Literally every social commentator had something to say. Some people were siding with it. Some people were like, it's true. Some people were like, no. A lot of people spoke out about it. What are your views? Before I get into what I, into my views and we lead on to. <sighs> so basically she's trying to say is that it's not the woman's business. Or it's not her business. Yeah. If a guy approaches her and wants to engage in a relationship, a romantic relationship, you know, any kind, it's not her business to make any effort. Mm. Bruh. I mean, what, <laughs> do you like, expect any pos- any anything positive <laughs> to come out of that? Mm. Do you know it's what's... stupid. It's, the, <laughs> the statement, yeah, for me, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. It ma- it actually makes no sense to me. Like, okay, I, that can be your opinion. That's fine. I want to see if that changes later down. Mr. Kevin Samuels will probably have something to say about that. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like that kind of statement, that is very, very wild. That is very, very wild. Because for me, listen, if you're in a relationship, relationships are 50-50. Yeah. Both parties bring something exactly. to the table. How can you not bring yeah. anything to the table? Yeah. I saw a very interesting comment and as just, well. And just to put as well, yeah. and even in that, one of the the, the, the high-value thing we reviewed from the See The Fingers pod, yeah. where 
um, Bridget at the end said that it's important for the women to know exactly what they want as well before yeah. they go into. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And do you know what's so funny? Yeah, because I've seen a tweet from well, someone brought up a tweet earlier, like maybe like a week ago or something, yeah. where she was saying that um, what do you call it? This is what she will want in a man or something like that. So I just find it a bit interesting that you can um, be asking a question of what a man brings to the table, but you don't want to bring yeah, anything to the uh-huh. table or I don't get it. But yeah, aren't relationships meant to be 50-50? Well, <laughs> bro, I don't know. It, it, that's what a relationship is. I don't know. Like, uh, what? And when I say 50 50, I want you want the guy to be your Jeff, your Jeffrey, your butler. So you just, I, I don't know. Serving you. Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs> Master Williams. Just, <laughs> just serving you uh, bread and breakfast, giving you money, mm. and you just sit there and you just take, 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 take. Sounds like a leech to me, man. Sounds you know, like 100%. 100%. That's for me, I find that. What very, kind of very healthy well. relationship is like that? That is not healthy. That is not healthy. It's not healthy. Fam, <laughs> it's actually not healthy because, like, again, okay, so <laughs> you're telling me the guy should not ask what you bring to the table. And someone I saw an interesting comment as well. And even the person that made the comment, I didn't even expect them to, to, to come with such wisdom. But anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna say the person was, the person was like, okay, so in an investment. When you're investing in something, are you not? Um, do you not inquire about what your return on investment will be? Because mm. a relationship is an investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm not just talking about financially, of course, emotionally, of course, of course. all of that kind of stuff. Of course, of course. So what? You just gotta invest it to somebody, and that's it. You're just giving yourself off to that person, and that's it. Mm. it doesn't make sense. That's very. It true. needs to make sense. Then that's, it that's, needs to make sense. It doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no. It's and it's funny because if she gets into if well, in this case, Kenza gets into a relationship. Yeah. There are, I'm sure not just a minority, but a good fifty percent plus mm. are gonna see this. Remember what she said. Yeah. Assume everything's going okay. Again, I'm not assuming that things will go wrong. But yeah. You just use your intelligence, but mm. connect the dots. <laughs> they will think that it's it's goals. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe if she also saw that from someone in her circle yeah. or the people she aspires to be, mm. that this is a goal because that's something that that's the standard she has. So that's the goal that if she's not in a relationship, she would want to be in, or some yeah. people that have the same mindset would want. Mm. But like. Do you even think about the 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 ends to your means? If that makes sense, that's what I don't think. The end result. That's what I don't think a lot of people think about. And again, I, she is a bit young. Actually, I think she's. I don't think she's older than twenty two or twenty three. Yeah, she looks. She looks really she's young. something like like twenty one, if I if I remember correctly. Mm. So I don't know whether. Again, this is this is my thing as well. I don't know whether she's saying that for kind of a reaction mm. in a sense as well because mm. I know again we've seen multiple examples yeah, exactly yeah. of of people like they say something to get yeah, a reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether you want to say it's a good thing or a bad thing is what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it pays, yeah. it pays. But um, yeah, I don't know whether she's doing it as a reaction. I don't know whether it's, it's naivety or. I don't know if that's just how she actually feels, mm. which is a bit, mm. <sighs> mate. I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I, what do you expect? I, very direct, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. It's just, it's just nonsense, because people will actually see comments like this, yeah, and actually think it's real. That's the thing. And actually think because obviously she thing. has some influence, yeah. That this is true. That this can work. That's the thing. This will not work. It's, I'm, it won't work. <laughs> It won't work. I'm sorry. Any female, yeah, that I I I, I show uh, what you call it attraction to, or whatever, yeah. that comes with this kind of thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't entertain. I won't entertain you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you as a man, bro. I won't entertain you. No, no man. <laughs> because like, what, what does that like? What does that actually mean? Yeah, no. What does that actually mean? It's 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 a, it's some nonsense, man. Like literally, and even like relating it to. To, to other aspects yeah. when you talk about 
certain goals and standards mm. certain people have um, that again which is fast tracked by social media you know clout and all this stuff yeah people don't really take a step back to think about um, why they want something and if it really works it's yeah. normally like oh I've seen it here or someone said this I'm just gonna go for it mm. and they don't even know they don't know they, they, they don't know they haven't sat down to think about and even with the high value man conversations and stuff like that yeah. like um for man who let's say he's on the balance side but his time is very much divided mm. some women don't take the step back to think okay i even related to what you said with kenza's thing as well that yeah i need to also make the compromise mm. you know it's always just like oh i saw this i want this i'm gonna yeah. get this this is goals mm. and you know what not it's true that's the thing a lot of people don't actually assess themselves and see okay what can i contribute what do i offer mm-hmm. like you always look for what you want you don't look for what you can offer as exactly. well exactly which for me again doesn't make sense because I've, I've, someone told me that people are resources you have to be a resource if you're yeah, not yeah, useful yeah, to yeah, anybody yeah, yeah, you're yeah. useless <laughs> you <say. laughs> you like that People are resources. So if you can't be useful to somebody, then what 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 would you serve? Yeah. What, what is there's nothing there. But yeah, going back to even what you're talking about in terms of like goals and stuff like that, is 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 actually very. <sighs> this thing is, I don't know. Like in recent times, I feel like it's just got a lot. <sighs> How do I say? I feel like so much has changed, mm. like even in the course of this year, yeah, yeah. like in terms of how I see people just idolizing people, idolizing their relationships and and stuff like that. And we've seen so many examples of okay, I, I, I'll I'll stick to like relationships. Yeah, we've seen so many relationships there yeah, that haven't like progressed for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. We don't know the reason for it, mm-hmm. but so many people have put them in the spotlight and created this narrative like this is what i don't know true love looks like or this is what this is goals or this is what they are trying to get to and i don't know like me every time i just see like i I go through the comments just to just to see what people are saying and i'm just like guys you know this you know this is not the real world like you know that like yeah you're seeing all of this stuff here but in the real world this is may not be the true reality or this is not Mm -hmm. every single side Mm -hmm. to the picture kind of thing Mm -hmm. so i don't know i know we say it so many times like like social media isn't everything no social media isn't anything virtual reality Mm. virtual reality and um shout out shout out to 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 renee because Mm. i see on some posts now and again on her page she reiterates that make sure you're doing something productive off the screen yeah but relating to this as well make sure off the screen you're actually thinking yeah. you're thinking make sure you're yourself. thinking off the screen <laughs> make sure make sure you're actually thinking yeah. Cause you're just process process yeah it's some it's just it's like that instant gratification mm. i see it okay that's what i want it's not like okay let me do i what do i need to do is this really gonna work? Mm. Ah, that doesn't that doesn't happen most of the mm, time. Mm, mm. It's quite mad. It's true. Make sure make sure you're thinking. Make sure you're thinking for yourself as well. Yeah. Make sure you're thinking for yourself because I feel like even a lot of us here. Yeah, I feel like we've um <laughs> we need to unlock a lot of things in our mind because mm, like mm. especially I feel like I don't want to talk for the next generation coming up, but just me observing them and being brought up in this kind of time as yeah, well. I yeah. feel like they are. I don't know what I don't know how to put it in words, but I feel like in a sense that a lot of them are kind of detached oblivious. from rea- reality and oblivious, oblivious as well. Yeah, oblivious yeah. probably the the, mm. the better word to say. A lot of them are actually oblivious. Mm, like mm, mm, everything mm. you need to do needs to be seen. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Mm. <laughs> I, feel like I don't know That's why. So true, you know. Fam, half of what I'm doing, people don't know about. People don't know. People don't. See. I'm not doing anything illegal. Come yeah, on, bro. <laughs> you know, so it's like <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to know about it. I, yeah. I know what journey. I know what I want to get to. Yeah, I know yeah. I've got my own timeline. I hope people. Of what, what I want to. I've got my own personal goals. Of course. 
so why am I looking for somebody else's goal or looking to yeah, reach yeah. that other person's goal 100%. when I've got my own exactly my own thing exactly exactly that's that's a big thing because it's just like that old example of like when you're swimming or yeah. you're running a race you can't look behind or to the mm. side you just have to focus on the goal that yeah. you know you set mm. you, know, you, you sat down you you aspire to achieve mm. and just go for it um and I, I, like you said, I don't think people see it that way. And even for like the goals that they do have, you know, for themselves, I don't feel like, I feel like there's a lack of self-awareness. And I think mm. we've spoken about it a lot of times, even for like a good year now, about how key it is where you know where you need to change yeah. or you know what you need to do to change to get to the goal. Either you change yeah. the goal or you change yourself to get to the goal. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are just subconsciously living in a world where, like, let's say financially, they want to make a certain amount of money and reach a certain place, but they're not putting the consistency. They're mm. not putting in the work. Yeah. You know, you see all these examples online, but the ones that are proper established, for example, it takes consistency. It's yeah. over time. You know, consistency. Um, and if you're following somebody else's goal, what's your? How far is that your own motivation gonna take you anyway? Mm, to be mm. honest, when you deep it, mm. you know, it's kind of that classic Disney movie where the dad wants the son to be a football player, just like that. <laughs> you know, literally, <laughs> literally, and yeah, I think that a lot of self awareness is needed in our culture. No, There's definitely. A big lack of it. Definitely, self awareness is key, and we say it so many times. Self awareness is key. I I like to say because it, it reminds me myself that I need to even be aware of like what I'm doing. Like if I've strayed from whatever path that I need to do, it helps me bring myself back exactly. to yeah, yeah, yeah. to where I should be. I should be working towards. But <laughs> another thing as well, another thing that I actually do you know what before I, before I even before I even touch upon that. Um, <laughs> So even talking about t- talking about goals and stuff like that, okay, I wanna I w- I'm gonna ask a question. Do you get like inspired by I don't know, um, athletes and 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 people? Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, some of them, yeah. Okay, interesting. So I'm not I'm not asking that that question as well because again, there's some people. Well, I was having this conversation as well like a couple of weeks ago, and um, this person. They shared the same views about us and like yeah. changing your old dreams, but this person was very extreme with it. So this person was saying that listen, you shouldn't look at these athletes or whatever, or like, or take inspiration from them. Your inspiration should come from the people that are around you and stuff like that. It's like, do you kind of hear what they say? But for me, I was just like, why not wait, why not both? Yeah, <laughs> their point was like, oh yeah, because um, what do you call it? You don't know what they're doing to be in the position that they're that they're in or whatever, or do you don't know, you don't know, you don't know yeah. what's in the in behind the scenes or whatever. For me, <laughs> I was like, wait, listen, <laughs> if Ronaldo, if Wesley Ronaldo, yeah, is gonna motivate me, yeah, to try and stay as fit as possible. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's yeah. the debate in that? You're not like yeah, yeah. As long as you're not trying to be, because that's what. I realise a lot, even like with fitness, is that mm. a lot of people want to have the body of A, the body of B. Mm. Be the best version of yourself. Yeah, yeah. We're all built differently. Yeah, bro. exactly. Like, genes are all different. Everything, everything is different. Everything yeah. is different. You can't, be, you can't be somebody else. Yeah. But at that same time, like I feel like, even though you can't be somebody, you can still take motivation 100%. or like take inspiration from, from somebody as well. Mm-hmm. No, no, I no, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, even for the people around <laughs> you, it goes both ways anyway. So I don't know then, if, if 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 this guy was trolling or not, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you like because sometimes again, like we spoke about before, when you put someone on a pedestal, yeah, they can disappoint you to a point where you start to disbelieve and doubt. Mm. Maybe the whole, not the whole world, maybe, but like all the different other people that you put on that level, yeah. Let's say if like an athlete they aspire, but you find that they take drugs, mm. you know, or mm. I don't know something wild. I mean, sex trafficking, you know. It's, it's like that's why you can't put people up like that. You, you know? can't that even, even go back to goals as well. Like, you yeah, can't, yeah. You can't, you can't. Yeah, that's the thing. You can. You can't. And and 
even talking about that as well, something just came into mind. Um, what's this guy's name? This actor as well, this British actor that's now being accused of all these like sexual charges. And oh stuff yeah, like that. thing. Um, um, Noel Clark. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn, I, like Oof, that one. I, I was not. I didn't expect that. Nah, I didn't no, expect that. No. I won't say that I necessarily put him on a, a high pedestal, but I just thought, okay, in terms of like. British like urban culture like he's one of the guys that kind of pushed the scene and stuff like that so I respected him for that but then I'm hearing all of this kind of stuff that was going on I was like rah is this what this guy was really on so at the same time I, I do think you should again be weary and never put anyone don't don't no one's a superhero mm, no, no, exactly. one. <laughs> no one's a superhero yeah. and even your hero can be a villain do you know what I mean Superman. Some people. <laughs> I have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's true though. It's true. It's definitely true. Don't put don't put people on the pedestal and like it's important to assess the goals mm. with with, with self awareness. It's so key. I mean, again, social media doesn't help. I think it's so scary. Like, social media has turned most of us into zombies. Definitely, definitely zombies. Like, we need to be very careful. Again, like especially for us, because we do we like run creative stuff, mm. so we have to be in the know-how. Mm. But it's so important not to get sucked into the quicksand. Yeah, because <laughs> you can gradually, 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 and then boom. <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally like even aspiring, you know, to the level other podcasts are at. Yeah, it's good. But to understand that we are different at the mm. same time. Otherwise, it's like you're chasing a rabbit's tail, you know? You're yeah. Just gonna, you're not going to get anywhere. Just run around in circles. Yeah. Or arrive at a destination you never really wanted to arrive to in mm. the first place, mm. which is quite mad. Self awareness. Um, Self awareness is key, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. 100%. Um, Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Just want to touch on that guy again. Ah. I don't think for a long time we're never going to get bored of seeing yeah, that guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> with the amount of, like, reposts that I've seen, yeah, of this guy, like, within this last month, this guy... And, and, and that guy that makes parodies of him, too. Yeah. <laughs> You're a legend, man. Nah, no, like, he's legend. actually a legend. It's the gestures and everything. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. It's aftershave as well, you know. I clock it's aftershave, aftershave. mixed with his beard. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my days! No, that guy. That guy's too funny, man. It's too funny. But yeah, Mr. Kevin Samuels as well. <laughs> He's doing well for himself. He's yeah. doing well for himself because yeah. I know there's. Even the people that don't like him or whatever, they repost him or whatever, it's built into his brand. Mm -hmm. Like, this guy's following has gone up. I'm yeah, a yeah, mad yeah, one, so. Yeah, yeah, if he wasn't a high value man before, he's even a higher value man now. <laughs> 100%. 100, 110%. But I guess even like take him from his story, because how old is he, like 51 or whatever? Something like that, yeah. You know, he's, his time is now, but, you know, it's. It's come off. He's not young, in it, obviously. Yeah. So I guess I don't know if this is what he's wanted to do ever since the beginning, but apparently he's been talking to women and women anyway for a couple yeah. of years. So I guess he's he's getting towards his goal too. So mm. yeah, it just takes patience, consistency, exactly. and that's and that's the thing. And I feel like people shouldn't be afraid of change as well, because yeah. like I there was one video. I think it was an older video that I watched, and I and I know that. He was working well, so he studied engineering. He started because it stood out to me because I, I did the same thing at first. But anyway, he studied chemical engineering, and then he moved on from that and started working in like um, sales and and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and then built his his way up like because he was very good at it, mm -hmm. and like just even going from like doing something like chemical engineering to now going to work in like sales. I think it was still like um, like technology mm -hmm. sales or something like that. So still. Like something serious but just the transition and there's so many different people as well yeah that you just be surprised like where they started well, yeah. margaret thatcher studied chemistry to now go and be the the prime minister she was the prime minister mm. of the country oh wow but virgil abloh was doing engineering before he now went to go and start doing Is it? making off-white and stuff Mad. like that so again <laughs> uh, 
don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of change. Yeah. yeah. But definitely. at the same time, that just shows that, listen, this, these, I, I haven't spoken to them individually, but I'm sure that they had a certain way that they thought that their life was going yeah, or, work, exactly. or a place that they were working towards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, 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 they reached their success in a different field mm-hmm. or in a different area, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is very, very interesting. And exactly, yeah, yeah. If we can take a lesson from that, I feel like is that life is not a straight line. No, no, it's no, not no, a straight line. Not. There's different, there's different bends, there's different curves, there's different ways mm. that you can kind of, um, different turns that you could take to be, to be successful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why, again, it's important to have your own mind. Yeah. So that when people make certain comments, like you, this Kenza, you, know, <laughs> you can actually think for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And think, okay, yeah. if I take this, if let's say it's a life is a race, what not? Yeah. If I take this advice, and I I apply it in this race that I'm running, where is the destination? Mm. What am I going to encounter along the way? Mm. You know, it's important. It's, it's, it's simple, very, but very important. common sense is not common in 2021. It's not. It's not. It's less common. In 2021, oh, it's not about common sense. I don't know where it is. It's just, just, just do what you like. There's no rules. Honestly, honestly, honestly. There's actually no rules in 2021. For real, for real. But yeah, well, I guess we'll just leave it there. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you again for the listeners, um, mm-hmm. the people that have been watching. We have some imminent imminent um interesting episodes coming up yeah um yeah we just got interesting stuff coming so just watch this space come on um yeah peace out in a bit